Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, this is BGP interview question and answers part two. So in part one, guys, we saw some uh, question and answers. Uh, I think uh, we saw till question number six. Okay, so we'll start with uh, question number seven. Uh, the question number seven goes like, what is a BGP synchronization rule? So this is a very important question. Uh, so always, uh, you know, be prepared for this uh, question. Um, the answer uh, goes like uh, not use or advertise the routes learned via uh, and IBGP neighbor to an EBGP neighbor unless and until the same are learned via some other IGP like RIP, OS, PF, EIGRP, etc. So, you know, this is a statement or uh, this is the rule which you can uh, just learn or had it. But to have a proper understanding of this rule is very important. So you, in an interview, you can explain uh, with the help of a diagram if you want, uh, which will again create a, a better impression of yours uh, in the front of uh, interviewer because you know when you're giving an explanation with a diagram to this particular rule, uh, this will eventually help you. So I also try to give you the explanation with the help of a diagram. So let's consider we have a router one, uh, router two, and router 3. Uh, router 1 and router 2 belongs to let's say one single AS that is AS 100 let's say and router 3 belongs to a different AS let's say AS 200 okay the connectivity is like this okay so this is IBGP neighborship because they belong to the same AS this is EBGP neighborship because they belong to the different AS so whatever routes R1 is going to give to R2 okay so R2 is not going to use it or advertise it. Okay, it means use it or advertise it means to use it means it will not install in the routing table and also it will not advertise to its EBGP neighbor. Okay, that is R3. Unless and until the same are learned via an IGP like RIP, OSPF or VHR. So that particular route which R1 is uh, advertising to R2, that route again have to be also advertised or uh, you know, R two need to add, uh, learn this route via some other routing protocol also, other IGP routing protocol to be very specific. Okay, so this is the rule. Now, uh, this particular rule, you most of in the practical or the real environment, this mostly this rule is uh, disabled. So you can also mention that uh, you know we can disable this uh, particular uh, uh, rule by just giving this command that under bgp router bgp 100 this is the as number you just want to go and give this command no synchronization so this will disable bgp synchronization if you want to enable this is the command synchronization okay now this is feature is off now this is a very important point to be noted that this feature is off by default uh, in i cisco ios software release 12.2 so after that this particular uh, release and uh, later on this particular feature is disabled by default but still in interviews this is a very popular uh, interview question answer so this rule says do not use or advertise the routes learned via an IBGP neighbor to an EBGP neighbor unless and until same are learned via some other IGPs like RIP, OSPF or EAGRP. Now let's move to the next question. How to make a BGP router member of two autonomous systems? <laughs> this is a bit tricky question. So, how can you make a BGP router a member of two autonomous uh, systems? So, you can't make it because only one BGP AS can be configured on the device. Hence, BGP router can be member of only one autonomous system. So, this is a question which an interviewer may ask uh, just to check your con BGP concepts. And this is a bit a tricky question. So, be prepared for this. Uh, question number nine on BGP router, how can we check the list of BGP neighbors and the routes received and advertised from or to a particular neighbor? So uh, there are various commands. These commands basically, like you know, if you are going for some interviewers, are of those approach that they would like to know whether you have actually worked on BGP or not. So guy who has actually worked on BGP is aware of these commands. So this is the command like show IP BGP. Okay. So show IP BGP summary. Show IP BGP will show you the BGP table. Show IP BGP summary 
will uh, show you the list of the neighbors and the status of the neighbor the time at what till the neighbor is up or down that time it will show show ip bgp uh, neighbor and the IP, IP, neighbors ip receive route we show you the routes which you have received from the bgp neighbor show ip bgp on the ip of the neighbor advertise routes will show you the routes which which this particular route is router is advertising to the neighbor so these are few commands which you need to remember and if you are working on bgp you are well aware of this command but again this is a question which you may face in an interview let's move to the next question that what tell us something about bgp attributes this is a very important question almost uh, you will face and uh, a question like this a lot of times in your interviews uh, as we are aware that you know to explain this question you know let's be very frank that you know don't have we don't have a specific definition that like in bgp simulation rule we have a statement you know but to to explain bgp attributes let's explain uh, the interviewer with some sort of background and then go to answer this question so you can answer like as we are aware that each routing protocol uses some metric for path selection like uh, rip uses hop count eigrp uses a composite metric which includes bandwidth and delay ospf uses cost that is bandwidth to calculate the best route so similarly bgp also uses something which is known as attribute to find the best route to reach the destination so bgp uses attribute so there are four categories of bgp attribute the interview may ask you that tell me what are the four categories of this may be a different interview question that what are the categories what are bgp attributes so normally whenever you ask the bgp attributes you need to answer by default i'll say you uh, don't wait for the interviewer to ask this question so it's better that you answer this categories also so there are basically four major categories uh, which uh, we can say that there are four categories that is well known mandatory well known discretionary and optional uh, optional transitive and optional non transitive so these are the four categories let me explain you well known mandatory so well known means uh, those attributes which are well known uh like well known means are supported by all the routers okay they're supported by all the routers like whatever the router be whether it be uh, a cisco router a juniper router whatever router you know that particular attribute will supported by all the routers mandatory mandatory means uh means whenever the whenever route is going to be sent in that route this particular attributes will be present they have to be present okay so for example like uh, the two bgp neighbors let's say r1 and r2 if r1 is sending some uh, well known mandatory attributes that is that attribute will be supported by r2 yes and that attributes must be present in the update okay so that is what it means well known mandatory must be present in the bgp update uh, the examples i have also specified like uh, as path as path origin next stop so these are the well uh, well known mandatory attributes well known discretionary now well known means again they supported by all the routers uh, discretionary means that uh, they may be present in the update or they may not be present in the update that is the only difference between well known mandatory and well known discretionary so this is may or may not be present in the bgp update like local preference uh optional transitive optional transitive uh, means may or may not be supported by a bgp routers so like well known means they may or may will be always supported by the bgp routers optional transitive means it may or may not be supported by the bgp routers and uh, transitive means that so here are two things optional transitive and optional non transitive okay i'll just explain you for example like this is r1 router uh, then we have r2 uh, let's say we have another router here r2 these are the bgp neighbors now if r1 is sending some update in that update there's an optional 
transitive attribute r2 will receive it okay now r2 will r2 is r2 supports it for example that attribute then r2 will use it or r2 will also pass on it okay now for example like r1 is sending an update to r2 in that uh, in that update optional transitive attribute is present which is not supported by r2 then what r2 will do is r2 will if r2 is not supporting it even if it is not supporting it it will forward it to r3 it will pass on to r3 but in non transitive it will not pass on that is the only difference okay so you have mentioned over here that pass on to the bgp routers and here i have load here in this point you can see over here sorry over here and this point that it is not supported if it is not supported may ignore the update and may not pass on to the bgp routers examples like med router cluster list router originator originator list so these are the attributes which are basically present in this category so there are major four categories you can answer uh, this question well known mandatory well known discretionary optional transitive and optional non transitive well known means they are supported by all the routers optional means they may not be supported by all the routers mandatory means they must be present in each and every update discretionary means they may not be present in each and every update transitive means if they are not supported by router then also they will pass on to the next router and non transitive means if they are not supported they may or may not pass to the next router it is very easy guys if you really read these things if you mention this points uh, which i have mentioned in this particular uh, notes you can easily clear up this question again there are a lot of questions uh, in bgp interviews which are related to attributes maybe in detail attributes that what is local preference and how it does and this and that i also bring up those those uh, uh, questions which i have faced related to local preference or med how how when where they are used so i not make it uh, this video more lengthier this interview question and answers maybe i come up with a more one more uh, video for this bgp interview question and answers so i'll see you in that video uh, so let's stop in this video here uh, and meet you in the next video thank you and have a nice day